Hello everyone and welcome to the first or the second video I guess um, if you count the first video as Pong depends on how you index things I like to index things by zero so welcome to the first video where I will create a game with AI and in this time we will be trying to create Snake and that's also a very popular game very easy game to implement so I don't think the AI is gonna have trouble to pop up something 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 decent so let's clean that up and ask the AI uh, please write me uh, always say please by the way you don't want to get killed by AI um, please write me a Pi game um, snake there we go classic snake game I always always write please write me a pie game and I have no idea how to I doesn't like uh, pl just please write me the game snake using the library pie game would be a better sentence but AI understands what I mean so let's drop that 120 lines of code in there and pie up the snake all right it does not move okay okay it starts moving as soon as I start putting an arrow in okay Okay, yeah, it's it's a pixelated screen. That's really cool, actually. Oh, I can just turn around. Ooh, that's already pretty decent. I don't know if this is a direct rip from anyone on the internet. If anyone implemented the snake game and actually owns the copyright to this, or if the AI actually came up with this himself, I don't know. But that's a pretty decent game, honestly. So far, so good. The more complex these games become, the more worried I will be that one of these games is just code ripped from the internet directly and the AI is not doing anything to um, change that. But theoretically, it should just bash things together depending on how likely it thinks things are. So, okay, I can die by just going in inside of myself. But if I'm too long, it's still fine. It's only if I'm... Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, great. How can we make this game better? It's already pretty good. Just add a, add a main menu. Um, with difficulty options. Um, easy, medium, hard, which have different speed at which the snake goes. Also make the snake grow two segments at once so it goes quicker. There we go. We make the game better by making it better. <laughs> Apparently it's um using Bahn Schrift and Comic Sans MS as the <laughs> as the font. That's adds views that's that's humorous. Also what's with C and Q? C to play and Q to quit. Like Q to quit, okay, but C to play? Like, continue, I guess, maybe, potentially. Who knows? AI AI is um, interesting. So let's drop that in. Let's play it. Uh-huh. Message, okay, so what does message do? I guess it's just putting message on the screen, but it's not really. <laughs> it's not putting it any, yeah. I can't read that, but that's fine. Let's just um, give it difficulty one. A snake block is not defined. Where is snake block? Our snake, snake block. Okay, it's the first time it created a game that doesn't run properly. Let's let's throw this in and be like, okay, please fix. Um, also, the text all renders in the same position. Please add a position for a message. So the text renders below each other. All right. Um, let's hope this time it compiles and runs. I mean, it doesn't compile for sure because it's not compiled code, but at least that it interprets it properly and runs and there's no like errors. Ah, okay, clock is also not defined, but 
at least we can we can read the text now. So let's drop that in there. Not a good start for AI. It, throwing a bunch of exceptions in there for it to fix, rather than actually asking for more features. But it's okay. A little bit of hand holding. Hasn't ever heard an AI. Huh? Copy some code, drop it in here, and run it. Okay, I can actually play it now. And they can decide when to start the game, so that's good. Okay, if I go into myself, that kills me. It's going pretty fast, honestly. And that's that's level one. It's like difficulty one. What if I hit escape now? I want to just have like escape go back to the main menu just for ease sake. But this is pretty doable actually. So make escape in the main game go back to the main menu so I can select a new difficulty as well as escape on the main menu. Nah, we don't need that. Let's just add this little quality of life to it. So we have Q and C, I guess while game close we cannot go back to the main menu, but we can just do it in the main main game, that's, that's fine, it's not like the best, but it's, it's, it's alright, we can go back to the main menu, because technically if we die, it doesn't start the game until we hit escape, oh, um, it's not giving me back to the main menu. It doesn't even quit. Okay. Quite a lot of problems in there. Why is it? We have key escape. Exit the game loop and return to main menu. So this returns from this function. Ah, but game loop is called here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So let's just like let's also add a return here. This is a bit shitty. So if I die real quick, hit play again, die again, and I hit escape, I actually go back to the main menu because it returns. It's actually creating infinite new stack frames so if technically if we die a lot of times we will get a stack overflow so that's not great I've never said that AI is making performant games or games that are following good programming concepts but it can create games okay so actually the hard difficulty <laughs> makes the snake slower Okay, there is quite some mistakes in here. I didn't expect the AI to be this bad at making such a simple game. But apparently it is. And easy is like going fast. And medium is going slightly slow. Okay. So, hmm. Do we ask it to make the game better? Or do we just ask it to re redo the whole game because it's complete garbage? So, let's just redo the whole game. Let's just say like, hey, hey, please write me snake using Pygame, add a menu to select difficulty from easy being the slowest snake to hard being the fastest snake. Also make the snake grow by two segments at a time to make the game more engaging. There, let's see if it does better the second time around. Looks pretty good. Let's see if we get like the exact same game or not. <laughs> or if we actually get like a completely brand new game here. Easy, medium and hard. It does definitely fits on the screen. And it's basically the same game again. Completely the same game. With the C to, <laughs> C to play and Q to quit. 
Are you kidding me? H for herd. It at least has the, the things correct because I asked it to. But it doesn't have any of the quality of life. And yeah, it's it's snake. That's about it. I can't even cute. Like, please add some quality of life. Like being able to go back to the menu if your game has ended or being able to close it with the X in the corner and also make the, the difficulties render below each other and able to select them with one, two, three for an easy, medium, hard, respectively. Add some quality of life, you little bastard. Oh, it refused to generate because of that. No, okay. <laughs> Don't be mean to AI, guys. It, it will it will know. It will come after you. Let's try it again. Hopefully, some quality of life or it did the same mistake as before. <laughs> At least I can uh, escape, right? No? Until I lose, maybe? Art to play. Q to quit. But there's no way to go back to the menu. Anyway, um, please add a position for the messages. They are all rendering at the same coordinates. Well, it adds in Y offset, so it should be good. basically creating the exact same game again but there's still no way to go back to the main menu let's see it's generating again R play again or M main menu okay yeah I mean I guess that's fine. Does this thing like yeah, it calls itself so it's the same problem again? But where's the main menu even? Where is the main menu? There it is. Yeah, so we'll get a stack overflow if we play this game for too long. That's great. One, can I escape? No, can I die in an M? Yep. Okay, so can I hit um, the cross to close, yeah, okay. So I think that's as far as I want to take it for Snake. It's just gonna create the same game over and over again. Um, but maybe let's add a second Snake. Let's add a second player Snake so we can play it together. The game keeps running until both players die. Also add three more fruits to the screen so it's easier to get some. Now it becomes crazy because <laughs> a two-player game, Snake, this is like multiplayer Snake, this is like revolutionary. Okay. It's generating. It's generating, all right. All right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's copy the code and drop it in there, play it. Now we have two players, okay? Both players lost. Okay, great. Okay, I can like. Okay, so what if the two players collide? Nothing. Okay. So the players are co op, I guess. So they can't like hit each other. It's kind of against the rules of Snake, honestly. And this is really hard to do without friends. <laughs> but at least. Oh, I guess only one of them died. Yeah. Um. Let's let's fix that. It's it is co-op, I guess. But please add collision between the players too. It's co-op. 
but that's 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 fine. <laughs> Just want to make it harder on myself. <laughs> and we'll we'll give it easy difficulty, so I'm not like overstressing myself playing two players at once. Now this is some some crazy Python Python stuff. It it literally. It literally uses a backslash there because that's how Python works. I'm pretty sure like that's that's because of new lines in Python are a bit annoying because of the the white space requirements. Um yeah, let's see. Okay. I still don't like that black is done with arrow keys and red is done with WASD. And they spawn like opposite of that, so left player controls right side and right player controls left side so uh, it's so hard to concentrate on both at once the red one doesn't want to get the stupid apple oh no I lost because if one dies they both die okay so let's just get those apples come on oh, I killed myself again I just want to keep them like on their own side so I don't interfere I don't want to get that one on the side. It's really difficult. This is pretty challenging to play alone. But let's try the player collision. If I can grow my snake a little bit longer. Ah, too greedy. It's better to just focus on one snake at a time. Okay, that's that's actually pretty doable. We focus on one snake at a time. Ah, why it didn't capture my input? That's the problem with the the way it does events. It doesn't capture input because we do them too fast. I can just grow one snake and then just let the other one rest for a bit. And then still die because I'm an idiot. Um, I managed to go in between those two apples for some reason. Um, yeah, so this is pretty difficult to do. I need to really focus on this. Okay, I think the snakes are long enough now for collision. Okay, can I collide now? I don't want to just collide with the head. I want to like collide with my own tail. Let's add that because it's really annoying. Please, this allow moving backwards into yourself. Iggy when going left, going pressing right shouldn't kill you it should not allow you because it's really annoying me <laughs> honestly making it really hard for me to play this properly la 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 let it generate And there it goes. And that should be the final iteration of this game. And then it should be pretty play play pretty playable. Um let's just keep it easy. Okay, I cannot destroy myself anymore, that's good. Um, what? Did I somehow kill myself anyway? Come on, just get it. Okay. Almost killed myself by hitting the other player. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Looks like a pretty 
playable game. Let's see how far we can get. Um, yeah, let's just spawn them properly so I don't get to. Ah, come on. I just killed myself. Yes, we can phase through each other because we're moving differently. Okay. Should be pretty good. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's that's enough for the, for this game. Let's do hard mode real quick and then we'll we'll <laughs> see how long I survive this. Probably not very long. Oh, there you go. Anyway, um that was that was Snake and Pi game created by AI. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's see what we can pop up next time and it's Flappy Bird. So that that should also be a very classic one. I don't see how 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 AI could mess this one up. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.